Hi, I'm Kevin Jensen. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Raspberry Pi, and I'm going to show you how to get started with it. If you're wondering what a Raspberry Pi is, this right here is a Raspberry Pi. It's a credit card sized computer, and it features all the same components that a traditional desktop or laptop can, uh, has. Uh, one thing that is particularly neat about the Raspberry Pi is it actually features an ARM 11 CPU running at 700 megahertz. Uh, however, it is a little bit difficult to get this thing started simply because it doesn't contain a BIOS. Uh, you actually have to install the BIOS on a SD card, which I'll show you in this video. Install the SD card here and then uh, use that to boot the system and we'll also include a uh, operating system. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Uh, first thing we're going to have to do is install the operating system to an SD card. Okay, so let's just jump right into this. The first thing that we're going to need to do is insert a SD card into our computer. So I'm going to hurry and do that. Okay, so there it is, removable disk J. So go ahead and open to view the fo fo uh, folder contents, and as you can see it is empty. Before we get started though, you're going to want to format the disk. Go ahead and just do a quick format, the default options are fine. So there we go, we've now formatted our disk. So the first thing we need to do now, uh, go to the Raspberry Pi website. Anyway, come in and go to the downloads page. And on here we're going to download the Raspbian Wheezy. And this you can do either through the torrent or uh, just directly downloading the zip file. I'll go ahead and download the torrent. Okay, uh, one thing to quickly review while this is downloading, it may take a few minutes. Uh, as it is uh, 434 megabytes, if I, yep, 434. This right here is very important to notice the default login. Uh, the first time I installed Raspbian, I didn't notice that and I spent quite a while just sitting and waiting to, or trying to figure out how to log in. The second thing that we're going to need to download is this program here, Win32 Disk Imager. So click on this link and we're going to download the binary zip. One thing to notice is this uh, caution, this use, use with caution, see this bug. The bug, uh, it's a very rare bug but it can uh, wipe out your C drive. So that is just something to be advised of. Uh, go ahead and download that and I think we are just going to fast forward through this part. Okay, now that this is done, let's go ahead and open this file. And all that's in this zip folder is the image file and we're going to want to copy that, and I'm just going to put everything on the desktop. Uh, go ahead and paste that. And you'll notice how large this uh, exports to. It export uh, this 1.8 gigabytes. Uh, Raspberry Pi, they recommend using at least a 2 gigabyte SD card, and it's for this reason. It's a large operating system. Uh, I'm going to install this on a 4 gigabyte SD card. It also looks like this file is done downloading, so let's go ahead and open that. And let's just extract all that right to the desktop also. Okay, so here we are. Here's all of our files that we need. Now, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to start up uh, Win32 Disk Imager and you need to make sure that you run it as an administrator. I 
let's see what we're missing here. Okay, so I will pull it up. I'm a little bit leery. Okay, so we want to write to the J drive if I remember correctly. Yes, the J drive. So now we need to select our image file. That'll be this. So let's go ahead and hit write. And this will take a few minutes. Um, and all this is doing is it is actually installing the Raspbian operating system to the SD card. Okay, so that's all there is to that. So let's go ahead and exit out of there. And one thing you need to make sure you do is that you do uh, eject your uh, SD card. So we are now ready to uh, get our Raspberry Pi up and running. Okay, now that we have our SD card loaded with Raspbian, we're now ready to start using our Raspberry Pi. What you'll want to do is take the SD card and install it in this mount for the SD card. Now there's a lot of cables that you're going to have to use to uh, fully hook this up. The first one I'm going to use is just a regular HDMI cable. And that'll go here in the HDMI port. Um, let's get a little bit more slack here. Uh, next, I'm going to put... Sorry, I've got a mess of cables here. Uh, the way that this... This is just my monitor, so it will actually... Uh, need the audio from a audio jack from a just a, a three quarter three quarter eighth inch jack. Uh, next uh, we're also going to need a mouse and keyboard and those will just go here in the two USB ports that are provided. So we need our Ethernet. Let's see if I can get it up here. Okay, so the Ethernet cable. And the very last thing that we need is our power. Uh, one thing, uh, this is a micro USB. One thing you want to make sure you do not do is plug this directly into your computer. I've heard it can fry your uh, Raspberry Pi. So we're not going to do that. Um, so uh, to turn it on, all you have to do is plug the power in. So now you can see there's a few lights here blinking. And in a moment, you should see it pull up here on the screen. And if you remember back in the, the olden days of computing, uh, this was just your tr traditional uh, boot menu or uh, startup screen. So we'll let this uh, go ahead and load, and we'll uh, log into Raspbian. Okay, so once this is done going through the boot sequence, it'll bring you to the config. And uh, you're welcome to change anything you want. You can go in here and change your uh, password for the default user Pi. But we'll leave it there for now. Uh, one thing you may want to modify is this. You may want to set the lo locale. It's by default set to Great Britain. Uh, if you live in the United States, or any other country you will want to change it and you can see that here you can change the time zone but we'll go ahead and leave that as is so we'll go ahead and finish and so now uh, I'll show you how to if you type exit it'll ask you to log in 
see the default uh, login is pi and the password is raspberry so now this will bring up the the command prompt and to get to the graphical user interface simply start type start x and this will open uh, the Debian uh, graphical user interface and that is how you get started uh, get your ra Raspberry Pi up and running I hope you enjoyed this quick look at how to get started with your Raspberry Pi